Okay, RJ, what are we doing today? I'm not really sure. I stay constantly confused. Okay, what are these? These are lights. And what do we use them for on the farm? To light up for the cams in the barn. Okay, so they raise up. If you'll undo the, show them how to, you got to loosen it. I thought it was loose. There you go. And it'll go how high? Like three foot, four foot? It'll go up that high. Ooh, I think there's another one. Yeah, we don't ever have them up that high, but they can go that high, correct? <laughs> okay, so um, when we dug these out this year, we put them away, right? We use them only in haying season and lambing season. And they get dusty, dirty. But here's the thing. What was wrong with them this year? That was work. Okay, we can't understand you. You're just not ragging the way. <laughs> what happened? They wouldn't work. Okay, well, actually, one would work, right? Okay. Yeah, well, when I tried them, none of them would work. So, what did we figure out? Well. All the bulbs were bad? Yep, basically. So we went to our handy dandy little Walmart. Bulb buddy. Well, I have a bulb buddy, but it turned out we it was know. it had one in there, but it was burnt out. So um, in my bulb buddy, I keep all of my bulb. thing. Now it has each of these has a little um, thing right here that pops open. Show them how to uh, from the top. Pull down in the center. There you go. Has it open? Yep. Never been able to get them open. <laughs> bulbs is there you go okay so we have this right here that holds a bulb but because we're out in the barn one well-placed kick that wouldn't last would it son nope. so i have my bulb buddy um it served me well for a lot of years huh yep. um and so we went out and got new bulbs what did we learn about these bulbs when putting them in now we had never been told nobody looked up how to I live there with two men. <laughs> they didn't read the, Yeah, they didn't read the instructions. So you just what? Pop them in and go on. Okay, now, none of them would work, so we thought all these were dead. We thought the lights themselves, something had happened, right? Yep. Okay, so explain what went on. Quit fussing right. with them. Show us the bulb. Get your bulb. Show us why they didn't work. All right, so we're in our handy-dandy bulb buddy. You just pick them up. There you go. Okay. This thingy right here. All right. Let's turn it sideways so they can see. Um, there is a bubble right here, and you can kind of see it. Let me see if I can get it to. There we go. All right. So this bubble right here. And where does that bubble go? To the back. To the back. So I'm going to guess the there is a negative and a positive side to these, even though they look the same. Um, one just says the wattage and that down here, and that one says the brand on the other side. But if you put them in backwards, do they work? Yeah. See, that's what I don't understand is... They look identical, look like, I know. I mean, but I if you too. put them in these lights, and I don't know what brand are these, do we know? The, the little square ones are Stanley's, and Stanley's did it too. I don't know what these are. These are the cheap guys. I got them years ago on sale, huh? Yep. So I got both of them for $35. But that was years and years ago. So anyway, so we learned there was a front and a back of the bulb. What happened when we put all the bulbs in right? They all worked. Yeah, they all worked. So what else are we going to do today to get ready for lambing season? Hopefully if the UPS man comes, we're going to what? Take and we're going to fix the Wi-Fi. Yep, so we can go live with our lamb bursts again this year. I see. I see. All right. I'll show you how to fix the Wi-Fi here in a little bit. We're going to eat some lunch first, right? Yep. Okay. So today, my little kit came to fix our internet. Um, this cable that we have that goes out to the barn is buried. So um, here's where the mouse ate it off. And all I have to do is put a new tab on it to make it work. If I call the phone company to come out here and do this, they're going to dig it up and blah, blah, blah. And I have to pay a fee and they're going to make sure that it's not just this and blah. So 
for like $13.97. I got this little kit online. Um, this is the tool that crimps this down. It has splitters and all this stuff here. This is a universal one for like doing um, phone cables and such. So there's the little thing. I don't think I was in frame a minute ago. Um, my lighting isn't the best. This is our corner with all of our internet and stuff. So this is our the tool that I ordered. The kit comes with a hundred of these. Now, am I going to use a hundred? Probably not, but it's nice to have them on hand. Um, it also came with a cable tester. I put batteries in it. It seems to function. I'm not really sure how to use this, nor do I care. Um, I'm not a repair person. I don't do this enough to worry about it. Um, and it came with two of these little like wire stripper things. Don't need those either. I simply need one of these, more if I screw it up, and this. And for $13.97, I think I got a good deal. Now, I've got my little clip. I'm going to set this aside. comes with instructions on how to use that tester. I'm not really worried about it. I know just enough of the basics, and this is really all I have to know. I need to know the pattern on which the original cable was done. RJ and I stripped it so you can see this is what a cable would look like um, without the blue casing. Okay, so you got all these little wires. So there's eight of them in there. Um, they're all color coded. So you have to know what's the top, what's the bottom, and what order to put them in. So you're going to look at the top, okay, which is the part without the clip. You look at the top line up the cables in the order that they go and you literally shove them in the top of this put it in the crimper and crimp it off um this cable actually works i tested it just to be funny and rg was laughing at me um i wanted to make sure that my sequence was right so this is the original cable that is on the other end so i know that the pattern is correct for the other end i just have to make sure I don't put the um, thing on upside down. So here's my pattern. I taped it all flat so I know what order they go in. The next thing I did, and I probably cut off too much of the blue stuff, but I'm not real worried about that because this is protected. Well, except for mice, um, I can electric tape it up and I'm not too worried. You only need like Let's see if I can do it to show you. You just need them all flat and they're going to go up in there. So you're only going to need about that much exposed. I've got double because I'm scared of not getting them even. Um, so I don't do this. Like I said, it's not my living. So am I experienced? No. And they're just enough to get me in trouble. So I'm going to start by lining up my colors the way they go. And... I'm seriously just going to sit here and I'm hoping it will go quick. If it gets me too much, I'm going to turn the camera off so you don't have to look at this. Um, it might be painful <laughs> to sit here and watch me try and line these up. Okay, so I've got my things in order. I've got them pushed up as much as I can evenly. I'm going to remember to put it with the top up. Sorry, my voice is getting scratched. Slide it in there. Push it as, as far as it will let you go. Then literally, you're going to plug this in just as if it was going into the thing. And you're going to squeeze. You'll hear it go click, click. Okay, you should be able to give it a little tug and it be secure. And ta-da, there it is. Um, I'm going to actually electrical tape that as soon as I make sure that it all works. I'm going to plug this in and have the guys test the Wi-Fi at the barn. And there you have it, how to fix a cable.